All right. Ooh. All right. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick adder spoke tutorial. This is again for Lion. So you're gonna see a bunch of stuff here. I am do kind of a quick thing there and just kind of show you kind of what's going on there and the differences. Um, the first thing you're gonna notice the format, like it's gonna look a look quite a bit different. You're gonna see a picture of a little address book. Um, another thing you may notice that's gonna be a little bit different about mine. I have all these different groups here. One of these is a test group that I've gone ahead and just set up, so it'll be a little bit quicker. But another one that you see, you're gonna see iCloud. iCloud, you do have to have Lion 10.7.2. So if you're on Lion, it just requires a free update, and then and you set up an iCloud account, and you're good to go. And you can always find that, like to see exactly what's on, by clicking the Apple logo, then about this Mac. And then you're going to see this come up, and it's going to say version. So I'm at 10.7.2. I'm good to go with Lion. Um, then, as far as anything else there, you will see, or any of the groups there, you will see that I have a Facebook group. So I used an app that I can't remember what it's called. I'll see if I can find it later on and post it in the, the uh, description um, to rip my Facebook contacts there. Now, because of Facebook privacy policies and whatnot, you can only take like their their name and their picture. You won't be able to grab their co their phone number or their like email. But this at least puts them there, so you can kind of get organized later on. Um, so one thing that you do want to see: Do you see the little bookmark where my mouse is? Go ahead, and you're just going to want to click on that, and you'll see it pulls up right here. So you can see it in kind of a view like this, where right now I've clicked on a specific one. Then I see the details on it. I can edit it down here on the bottom or I can share it. Just by clicking that it goes straight to mail. If I want to add a new contact I just hit the plus. If I want to create a new group I can just click the plus here. I've already made a test group and it's as simple as you know making a new contact in this group or dragging one over from here. So just to show you that I'm gonna go ahead and Uh, that's not a good group for that. Let's go through here. Here, dominoes. I've got dominoes right here. I want to drag this into test. And now it's going to also show up in test. And that's as easy as it is. There's really nothing more there. Now, one thing you can do is you've also got some other organizational tools there. Move this down here. And so another organizational tool you have is to go ahead and make a new group from this selection. Or you can make a new smart group. So I'm going to click on Smart Group so you can really see what that looks like. I can look for, just like in Mail with Rules, I can look for cards, specific cards, like contacts, that contain or do not contain, you know, whatever I put in here. So if I want to put someone that's not a member of Chris's contacts or my Facebook one, I can go ahead and make that a specification. I can add another specification. And I can keep going crazy as I want with any of these features there. So another great tool you've got for organizing oops, organization, um, you can subscribe to an address book straight from here. So let's say, you know, mom's all about and you want to go ahead and see um, she's added in Bob's Got Soccer Practice at 5 and you forgot when it was. Well, if you subscribe to her calendar, you can get updates right then and there. If you hit print, then you can print any of your contacts that you have in there, um, there in the address book, like they're just like if you're going to make an envelope. Boom, it's ready to go, ready to print. I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I don't need to do that. Another thing you have is you can import. If you save these as, I think it's CBC, I'll double check later on and I'll put that in the notes, then you can just straight import them from like an Excel document if you save them the right way. You can export them like your, your specific card, who you are, um, or you can archive. And I do recommend doing that, especially if you're not using Time Machine. It's going to be a great way to go ahead and save your data. Because, again, you can always buy a new computer which may as you, much as you may not want to, but you can't buy your information back. So you really want to be careful with that and save it periodically. Um, a few of these other things are just going to be you know, normal, no reason to really go through them, edit, copy, stuff like that. Um, you can view them as lists, as cards only, just whatever fits your needs best. And this is just kind of a cool tool um, to kind of see things there. You can custom images there, or sorry, custom cards there, view them in separate windows, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you one more thing that I think is really cool, and I do recommend always doing that. Um, just kind of poke around in preferences for any app, and you're going to see that it'll change depending on the app that you're in. 
So right now if I click on Finder, now we're in Finder. But if I want to go ahead and go back to QuickTime, or really in this case we need to be in Address Book, then boom, now it's changed back to Address Book in the upper left. First you're going to see here that you've got a general tab. You can kind of arrange how they're viewed, sort by last name, first name, or sorry, last name, first, first name, that kind of thing. You just got your country that you can select. What, where you want them saved. I want mine with iCloud just because then it goes to everything. You can go to accounts. I've got my iCloud here. I've enabled it. I've got on my Mac. I can turn on Google. I can turn on Yahoo. Configure it right then and there. I just put a check. I've got to agree to the terms. And I put in my account and password. And then boom, Google contacts are there. And it's the same thing with my exchange. Um, you can edit the templates, like what's going to automatically be there. So just by clicking on here, I can say, you know what, I really want to include someone's Twitter and have that be something that defaults in there because I just love Twitter or whatever it is that you want. Set the phone numbers, set any of that stuff. One more thing I'm going to show you really quick. If you go up to the top mm -hmm. of your screen and where is it? Yeah, if you click card, so if you close out of that and you click card, you can look for duplicates, a little bit easier to organize in there just like you can in iTunes. And you can make a certain card your year card, meaning that whenever you're filling a document out online in Safari or you're in mail or pages or whatever you have, it automatically recognizes your stuff. So boom, it's got your address there waiting. If you don't want to put it in, you don't have to. It don't ask you before you do it, but it's just a great tool there. I know I went through this really fast, but I just want to give you all the information and you can rewind it as much as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and end this now, but if you have any other questions or you like this, Go ahead and always just um, leave comments or subscribe because I'm more than happy to do tutorials on anything I'm able to help with. Thanks again.